So, does your hair colour matter for colour analysis consultations? I'm Tony Carver from TLC Style and Colour and I believe that it does. Your hair colour can have a huge impact on your overall appearance, which is why I always assess it during my colour analysis consultations. In fact, it can be a huge topic of discussion during your colour analysis with me. Now, over the years, I've seen many clients and I've heard lots and lots of stories about how changes to your hair colour can have an impact, not just on how you feel, how you look, and the clothes that you wear. So whether this is your own choice in changing the hair colour, getting older process and ageing gracefully or ungracefully, or medically such as hair loss and cancer, all of them will have an impact. Now once you begin to notice that certain colours don't look quite as they, good as they used to or they look a little bit off, it's actually worth determining if the reason is because of any hair changes. I would also say how permanent it is, that it's likely to stay like that. And also, if you're feeling confused about what to do. Now, worthy of note is that there is a common misconception that the undertone to your skin won't change as you age. Now, certainly, under a seasonal colour analysis system, you will remain in the same palette and never move out of it. But the Colour Me Beautiful Tonal Colour Analysis System, which I use in my consultations, is a little bit more flexible than that and actually recognises that as we get older, our hair loses its pigmentation. Perhaps your eyes can also become slightly more muted and your skin will also become more transparent as well. Now, if you have found that your hair colour changes are having an impact on your choice of colours and how they look for you, then there are some tips on choosing and wearing them in my latest blog post, which you'll find on my website, which is tlcstyleandcolour.co.uk. If you go to the latest news section, you'll be able to see the blog and read the details. So please do go and check that one out. Now, for the purpose of this example, I wanted to show you just the subtle impact of colours against your features. So for instance, I've got some of my colourful drapes here, which is what I use during my colour analysis consultations. I've got some greens here and I've also got some pinks. What I wanted to show you is basically the impact of the different shades or tones of a colour that can actually be against your features. So if I go with the colour that I'm wearing, it is a softer and a more muted tone. Let's say that I went much lighter in terms of my hair colour. So I was much fairer and lighter. The lighter tone, it just looks a bit wishy-washy for me. But if my, my hair was totally different, it would have a different impact. Let's say that my hair was really dark where I've got really dark and rich features. I'd be much better suited to this richer and deeper shade of pink if I had richer, darker hair. Now, if I weren't as ashy, and actually what I had instead was more auburn in my hair, then actually a kind of corally pink would be better against my overall features and would lift them, but it doesn't because I've got too much coolness in my skin tone. Speaking of coolness, let's say I went kind of salt and pepper. This different tone of pink would likely look much better for me against my overall features, but it's too, it's too bright, it's too cool. Speaking of the brightness, I've got quite blue eyes, quite prominent eyes, but I don't have a contrast. My overall look is quite blended. So actually as a result, if I added some contrast where I went really dark in terms of my hair, my eyes would actually stand out and because I'm paler and cooler skin toned, then actually I would create a lot of contrast and a lot of definition between my overall features. And as a result, the brighter, more clarity to the pink would be better for me. But because I haven't got those overall features. It just looks like it's wearing me. And because I do have very little definition between my features and my overall look is much more softer, the softer tone just looks much more blended for me. 
Now that's the pinks. So let me put those to one side. I'll have to tidy those up later, but let me show you some greens. Let's say I was much lighter and fairer in my hair. I'd need a lighter tone of color to actually complement my overall features. And because my hair is, again, sort of highlighted, it's mousy, it isn't very fair at all. I don't have the lightness in my overall features to be able to carry something like this off. Again, let's say I've got much richness to my features. My features are more defined, they're darker. Let's say my eyes are a completely different tone as well. Something that is a darker tone like you can see here would work much better. But as you can see, it looks totally wrong. It looks like it's wearing me and not the other way around. Again, let's say I've got some auburn, some golden tones to my hair. I'm a redhead now. I've decided I'm gonna go crazy and I'm gonna go red. This kind of yellow base tone that is much more warmer would work for me. But as you can see, it just doesn't. Let's say I'm going to grow old gracefully. I'm going to let the greys come through. I'm going to be all ash tones. Whilst it can be different shades of green, it will often have more yellow in it. If you look at the colour wheel, it will often have more yellow base to it. So it needed either more blue into it or it needs to be a much icier, cooler colour to be able to work with somebody who would have ash tones to their hair where they're totally the silver fox. But as you can see here, it's just not enough. It needs something to be able to lift it, which is always a common reason, I think, when you feel like you need something to lift it, it's a really good example that the colour's not right for you. Another example of one that's not right for me, if I went dark and I created those kind of contrast and def definition between my features so that I had quite a brighter look, this kind of brighter green would be better, but as you can see, it just looks totally wrong. It's wearing me, it's overpowering my features. And lastly, let me show you a softer, more muted tone, which would work much better for me and my hair colour where I am now. As you can see, it's, it's much more blended and it harmonises with my hair, my skin and my eyes. And that's what I talk about during my colour analysis consultations, the overall harmony between your features. And when your hair colour isn't that quite the right tone for you, or it doesn't, doesn't harmonise with you. I hope that's given you a real flavour about why your hair colour is so important to be able to assess during a colour analysis consultation. I've got a studio in Wakefield, West Yorkshire, which you're welcome to book an appointment for. My sessions generally last around two hours because there is a lot that we go into. You'll see these kind of drapes in action against yourself and I'll do a similar process. But if you'd like some more information, do head on over to the blog to read more details about the impact of hair colour in colour analysis consultations. You'll also find more details about my services there as well. So it's tlcstyleandcolour.co.uk. Thanks for watching.